going on guys so in today's video we're going to be talking about all the things you can buy for your truck for under a hundred dollars but i just saw this dude on the side of the road and if it wasn't for the i would go help him but oh my gosh this dude is having a bad freaking day oh boy that guy Woof. so i actually turned around i was going to go over there and look at it but the dude is in it he's obviously on the job album power i'm sure he's got somebody from his job coming to pull him out but man he is uh whoo. all right guys so i'm sure you can already tell by the title but we're going to be talking about the things that you can do for under hundred dollars unfortunately i couldn't find the comment but i did have a guy comment if, if, if you were that guy comment down below and i'll pin you to the top or something um, but he asked what i recommended to do for under a hundred dollars and I got to thinking, I was like, that's a great video idea because obviously not everyone's got a ton of money to just throw at their vehicles. And maybe you have like a monthly allowance you give yourself to spend freely. And if you're on this channel, you probably want to spend it on your truck. So I got to thinking, I was like, there's quite a bit of things that you can do for under hundred dollars. And no, this is going to be a dramatic, oh my gosh, it's a completely different truck now kind of thing. But definitely each one adds on to each other and it can really give you a different experience and make you enjoy your truck a lot more. So no particular order, just me running through the things that I can think of and definitely leave some feedback down below in the comments of other things I didn't mention or maybe that were your favorite thing out of this list. So let's do it. Obviously a lot more things you can get for cheap on an older truck than a newer, but there's plenty on that as well. But we're just gonna start with the front of these trucks and work our way around. So obviously on the older trucks, a lot more options, but I would say upgrading your headlights is a huge thing because if you have an older truck, it's probably got crusted over, yellowed, nasty looking headlights. And so you can go on eBay, Amazon, and you can get some clears or some stock looking ones or there's a ton of different options and you have to kind of be careful definitely check out the reviews because some of these will be crappy because of the price and the quality um, and and they can leak and have issues and stuff so definitely check out the ratings on them so even tail lights for these trucks and even on the newer ones like there's some leds i used to run on these truck LED, black led tail lights for the silverado it was uh it was between 100 and 200 so a little outside of budget but still a solid option you know maybe save up for two months if that's the case Definitely headlights can, can dramatically change the look of the vehicle and as well get your lights back to being nice and bright. So obviously on the newer vehicles, the lights are going to be a lot more expensive to upgrade or customize or whatever. But as you can see on mine, I just went the tinted option. And this is pre-cut tint. It's like $25 shipped to you, I think on Amazon or eBay. And that was the, the route I went because these are really expensive headlights. I absolutely love them, but I didn't love the whole big orange parts of them so tinting them super awesome gives it a great look in my opinion nice stormtrooper look and and super cheap so probably the cheapest and easiest thing you can do is upgrading your lighting as far as your bulbs so for sure on older stuff but even on some newer stuff they'll come with that nasty halogen look your headlights your turn signals your tag lights reverse lights interior lights all of those can be upgraded for really really cheap and completely change the look. It makes the whole truck look so much more modern. And you can probably do all of those lights for under 50 bucks, well under 100, even including headlights, turn signals, everything. So one thing that I do not have, but definitely is a solid option for Larry, is a grill insert. So not many on the newer trucks as far as I'm concerned. I love the factory one. I honestly don't really mind the factory grill on this, but you can go on Amazon, eBay, and find some nice like billet or black bar or whatever um, grill inserts for around the hundred dollar mark and it totally changes the front of your truck so i had one of those on my old 06 f-150 absolutely loved it so a potentially free or cheap option is changing or removing your badges so i debadged this silverado and that's basically just going to take you know some time maybe a few material things but definitely cheap and for pretty cheap you can upgrade your badges on your older trucks to the more modern ones and give it a nice modern feel as well so if you feel comfortable with tackling it you can do window tint for really cheap i'm talking 20 to 100 dollars you know you can get really cheap tint for about 20 bucks it might not last long it might not be the best material but you can do it and if you're comfortable you think you can tackle it 100% I did it on Larry I got it professionally done on the other truck just because it's a nicer truck I felt it deserved a professional job but on Larry I did it myself I think I bought it was like $30 it was a fairly cheap one full pre-cut tent under 50 bucks 
have you some nice window tint it's not fun and you might mess it up but it's definitely a solid option so some things you can find in the used market and definitely get some good deals so i found this uws which is a very nice brand toolbox if i do say so at a yard sale i got this the mount and this is my old whip i've had for like 10 years but I got that for under 100 bucks. So my go-to first thing to change on vehicles is the exhaust. And if you're gonna do a custom True Dual, similar to what I have on both of these trucks, it's gonna cost you several hundred dollars. But if you do have a budget for around 100 bucks, you can definitely go get a muffler delete. Go to your exhaust shop, tell them you just want a muffler delete. It should cost you around 100 dollars for them to cut the muffler out and replace it with pipe. If it costs more than that, you probably wanna check with somewhere else because they, they might be trying to pull a fast one on you. So a muffler delete's not gonna be anything crazy. It's not gonna be super loud, super choppy, anything like that. But for about a hundred bucks, it can totally change your driving experience and make you enjoy your truck so much more. So technically Larry does have a three inch spindle lift. And so that's gonna cost you a couple hundred dollars, but a leveling kit is definitely a cheap option to get your truck out of that raked factory look. And it's gonna break the budget of a hundred dollars because you are gonna have to get an alignment and alignment does cost you about a hundred dollars. But a leveling kit itself is typically under a hundred bucks. And so under 200, you can get your truck leveled if you do the work yourself and get it aligned and be on the road looking much better than factory in my opinion but if you don't want to go that route you can do drop shackles which i don't have on that truck but i do right now on this truck yeah y'all can see right there that is a drop shackle so if you want to go the cheaper route that's like 40 to 80 bucks for drop shackles and typically you don't have to get a realign after you do that so if like this truck or either one was still stock in the front you wanted to get it leveled but not necessarily care about it being taller Drop shackles in the rear, take your rear block out. It's free, 40, 50 bucks, drop shackles, and you have your truck leveled. Don't have to go get it realigned. And that's definitely a very cheap option to completely change the look. So if we come inside, a lot of people ask me about this steering wheel cover, and it is just a Ducks Unlimited. No, I don't duck hunt, but it was similar to my seat covers camouflage pattern, so that's why I got it. But you know, 20 bucks gets you steering wheel covers. You're always touching this. So dry, changing something like this can really it seemed like a bigger change than it really is. Um, another solid option is stickers because stickers are freaking awesome. Um, another good option, possibly dash cam. Hey, you know, that can save you a bunch of money or capture something cool at some point. You can also do a DIY bed liner for under $100 for sure. That way you don't have a body color bed. You have a little bit of protection. Um, Usually these DIY ones do not stay as black as like the more expensive spray ins and stuff, but me having a bed cover, I don't have any issues with the fading and I don't really do too much in the bed. So it's not like it's getting torn up. VHC nightshades, you could do your tail lights. So probably not something you want to do if you listen to the radio a lot, but like myself, I'm always on Pandora using Bluetooth. I know that's not really an option in the older trucks unless you have an aftermarket head unit, which is a head unit. It's a solid option. You can get one of those for under $100. But the old bullet antenna, I think, looks so much better than the factory fish pole one. Um, so I've really enjoyed this. I need to do one for Larry. But, like I said, for Larry, I don't really have any options aside from listening to the radio unless I get one of the old cassette uh, to aux cord, which on my phone, I, there's enough adapters so I can make it work. But... Um, definitely a lot better look and cheap so something else that i forgot to mention while i was up here at the front is a little diy paint to match so i did all this myself it probably cost you around 50 bucks probably for all the materials but i painted to match the bow tie z71 the mustache and the hooks did all that myself it's pretty straightforward it's definitely a cheap option that can really make it look so much different because it this these things right here completely transformed the front of this truck because this was chrome those were black that was yellow and gold or gold and chrome that was red and chrome and black and doing all that white i think absolutely completely transforms the truck as well as with the tinted headlights just super stormtrooper look and i freaking love it so whether you're trying to squeak out another mile per gallon maybe a couple horsepower or it's just time to change your factory when you don't want to have to buy one that you're going to have to rebuy later down the road it's always a great option to purchase a washable and reusable high flow aftermarket intake filter so on larry which is a 5.4 have a drop in k and I can well i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna take all that crap off k and washable reusable been on here forever it's been great 
um, on Silverado. I used to have the Air Raid Junior intake system, but I did take it off, obviously. I did sell it, but I kept the high flow filter because why not? And so on both of these, like I said, washable, reusable, never have to buy another one again. They get dirty, just wash them. Maybe they squeak out a couple more horsepower. Or maybe they squeak out a, a mile per gallon or two. You never know, it can't really hurt. The factory systems are pretty good as far as the intake, especially on newer vehicles. But it's always nice to upgrade the filter to a more high flow and like I said, washable, reusable that you don't have to just throw away when it's dirty. All right, guys, well, that's about going to do it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Definitely leave some comments down below of anything that I might have missed because I'm sure I missed quite a bit of things you can do for under 100 bucks. Um, but let people know down in the comments. Let me know if there's anything that I mentioned that you're going to buy now or whatever the case may be. I think there's a ton of options for under 100 bucks to really enjoy your vehicle a lot more. So definitely leave some feedback down below. Like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I will see you all in the next one.